Here I have the new SpeedyB F405 stack. This thing is packed with features and is selling for only $69. This is also the stack that I'll be using in my 2022 budget build video that's coming out in a couple days. <laughs> So let's start off with a quick unboxing and I'll show you guys what's included with this stack. You pretty much get all the standard components that you would need to use the thing. You get an XT60 connector, you get a pretty beefy little uh, 1500 UF 35 volt capacitor, you get this wire here that pretty much makes this stack plug and play with a DJI air unit. And then you get a little bag of hardware, you get some extra rubber grommets, um, you get these screws that go through the stack and secure it to the drone, and then you also get this little cable right here that connects the two boards. All right, let's take a closer look at this flight controller. So this stack has the BMI270 gyro on it, so when you're configuring your drone, I would recommend applying the BMI270 preset. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this stack is the F405, so a little bit faster than an F411. F411 flight controllers have lower CPU speed and usually have less available UARTs than an F405. And as you can see on this board, there's no shortage of pads on here. They've really loaded this thing. There's a bunch of UARTs on here and we'll, we'll get to that in a second. An F405 flight controller like this isn't as fast as an F7. F7 is the fastest flight controller that you can get. And SpeedyB does actually make this flight controller in an F7 version, which looks pretty nice, very similar to this one. Um, it will run you an additional $50 or so. So if you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, I would go with this one. So like I said, this is an F405. It has 30 by 30 mounting holes. It comes with the rubber grommets already installed on the flight controller and the ESC. Um, they do include two, like I showed you earlier. So if something does happen to these, you have some extras. Uh, we have tons of pads available on this thing. So I think whatever you might want to hook up to your drone, I'm sure that this flight controller can handle it. Let's quickly go over what all these pads are. So up top, we have a five volt ground and cam. So those will obviously be going to the camera. Next to that you have CC, so camera control. We have an RS tab, a 3V3. Um, the 3V3 will be basically power from USB. So if you have something that's capable of three volts, when you plug this into the USB in your computer, that will get power. Uh, ground, and we have a 4V5, so that also will actually get power from the USB. Um, R2 and T2, so UR2 up top here. And underneath that we have S bus. So these pads right here would be used for your receiver. Next to that we have our additional um, motor outputs. So this flight controller is capable of eight motor outputs. So in addition to the four that you have in here, you do have motor five, six, seven, eight, and then you have telemetry and then S9 right here. So those would be your additional motor outputs. We have R3 and T3. So an additional UART, UART3 right here, and then a ground right next to that. Go towards the bottom of the board. We have SDA and SCL. So this is for a GPS and that includes the pads underneath it. You have UART6 right here, TX, RX, then a ground and a 4V5, and then your SDA and SCL pads. Those would be what you use for a GPS. Right here you have a five volt ground and LED. So this would be an LED pad, obviously. In addition to this, they actually have um, the same pads going to each corner. So if you wanted to hook up something like these LEDs, um, SpeedyB sent me a pack of these to use at this flight controller and I'll be using this in the end of the video. But these have a little plug on it and then you would just solder the wire right to each corner and then you have LEDs on each arm. If you didn't want to use the pads on the, on the corners of the flight controller, you could solder a um, control module kind of thing that would connect to these and then you have control over all of the LEDs just through that module. Um, but yeah, they have four LED outputs on each corner. Next to that you have five volt and battery, then ground, five volt uh, and two buzzer pads. So you can hook up a buzzer to these four. Underneath, we've got nine volt ground, uh, VTX, TX1 and R1. So these pads are would be what you would use for a Cadex Vista or an air unit or your VTX just in general. And it's nice that they include a nine volt, a battery and a five volt. So you can pretty much power whatever VTX you have. And then right next to that, you have another battery pad. So no shortage of pads on this thing. And in addition to these pads that you see right here, they've also included on this side, um, 
pads that correspond with the plug that goes in here that connects to the ESC. So if something were to happen to this plug right here, you could always just take those wires that would have plugged into this and just solder them right to these. Something that I want to point out just about the design of this flight controller is this slight cutout around the top. You can see it there. Um, this is basically a cutout for a camera. So if you're working with a tighter build that uses a 30 by 30 stack like this, you'll have a little bit of extra space to work with in the front of the flight controller. Over on the left side of the flight controller, you have your boot button right here. Above that, you have four LEDs, and these LEDs actually correspond with the battery life, which is a pretty cool feature that I'm surprised I'm just now seeing on a flight controller. Above that, we have the flight controller's built-in Bluetooth. So this board can be entirely configured in the SpeedyB app. This is a pretty nice feature that SpeedyB includes on their drones and their flight controllers. If you have a flight controller or drone that you wish had Bluetooth on it, I recently made a video on how to add Bluetooth to any FPV drone. I'll leave a link to that down below. On the other side of the flight controller, we have our USB-C port, and then right underneath that, we have our status LEDs. Now let's flip it over, not going to be as exciting on this side, but we have an SD card slot that supports up to 4 gigabyte SD cards for black box logs. So this flight controller doesn't have built in black box, you'll need to use an SD card for it. Um, there's a barometer on here, right down here, and there's also a plug up top right here that connects to the ESC, and then there's a plug down the bottom that's for an air unit. Now let's hop over to the ESC. This thing is a 4-in-1 50 amp ESC capable of 3 to 6S. SpeedyB is shipping this stack with BL Heli S on it. You've got four motor outputs on this, so if you wanted to utilize the eight motor output on this flight controller, you would basically just need another one of these. Um, but this single board right here is capable of four motor outputs. We have the battery leads down the bottom, and in the middle of each battery lead, there's actually a hole, and that's for the capacitor that they included. I've I always like when uh, companies include this little hole, it just makes putting the capacitor in a little easier. And if we flip it over, you can see they also actually included a little TVS protective diode, and this is going to work well with the included capacitor to help with voltage spikes and keeping your gyro noise nice and clean. Up top, we have the other port that will connect to the flight controller. This stack, and this is the flight controller and ESC, in total weighs 25 grams. Check that out. You already know what drone this is. This is my 2022 budget build and you guys are getting kind of a first look at it since I got to do a review video on this. Um, I love how clean this stack is and how everything is laid out. The pads on top are just the right size and are pretty easy to solder to. If you're not a fan of soldering, check out SpeedyB's F7 flight controller because that one actually has tons of plugs on the other side of it and you'll have a lot less soldering to do. Otherwise, I really do love the layout and design of this thing. The pads are the perfect size for soldering. I didn't have any issues soldering to it. Um, the battery life indicator on the side are pretty cool and honestly I don't know why more flight controllers don't have this. I'll show you how that works real quick. Here's one battery that's dead. Here's one that's fully charged. When I plug it in, hopefully you guys can see that all the lights on the side are illuminated and then when I plug in a dead battery, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, but you get four LEDs on the side there. Only one is lighting up because this battery is dead. Another thing you probably notice is these LEDs on the side. I love how these look. And the cool thing about these is actually they're not only controllable through beta flight, but they're controllable through the flight controller. So once the drone's on, if you press the boot button, it'll change it so that the uh, SpeedyB flight controller then controls the LEDs. So I'm gonna press it and hold. And now I can basically configure whatever color I want. And then if I wanted to go back to being able to program it through beta flight, I can just hold it and then it's back to the beta flight setting. So that's a pretty cool feature. I've never seen that on a flight controller. I do have a couple that have an LED button, but it's separate from the boot button. So the fact that that's kind of all built into one is pretty cool. And uh, yeah. Very solid little stack for 70 bucks. I've become a big fan of SpeedyB products. They seem to be coming out with some really cool stuff lately. And I think if I had to complain about something on this, and this is being a little nitpicky, but I would say that on the underside of the ESC, it would be nice to have solder pads under there as opposed to just on top of the ESC. Otherwise, I really can't find anything wrong with this thing. I think SpeedyB really hit it out of the park with this stack. So keep an eye out for my 2022 budget build video coming out in the next week. 
that's on this drone right here. In that video, I will be basically building this budget-friendly five-inch FPV drone using this stack. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and if you have any questions about this F405 SpeedyB stack, leave a comment down below.